Hi guys, welcome back for another one. I am Mr. Free to Play. That is right, I'm a free to play player and I give free to play player advice, tips, tricks, and other things. The polls are closed. My fate has been chosen. What did you guys choose? We're about ready to find out. So if you're ready for it, sit back, relax, and let's get into it. Wasting no time and moving up in the world at 2%. Medical supply run, dead last. No surprise, but our newcomer beat this one. Where did it land? We're about ready to find out. At number four, with only 8% of the vote, is the Gold Rush Challenge. In third place, with only 16% of the vote, was completing Chapter 7 of the Heroes Campaign. So if you guys know what that means, we got two left. Black Bolt and the Orb Frag Challenge. Did Black Bolt win or... Or did the Orb Frag Challenge finally pull off a win after six volumes? No, because it came in at number two with only 20% of the vote, the Orb Frag Challenge. And at number one with 52% of the votes is gearing up, leveling up Black Bolt level 70 gear tier 13 and i pretty much put this on my list to go to dark dimension 3 as my very first bio character because well if i'm doing all this work i might as well go all the way so don't get ready to click off this video just yet because this video's got so much more in it so without further ado it's time for me to unlock black bolt so here's my asgardians one last time if you guys need to know see where their power is i should have enough to clear through a five star black bolt with no problems no more investment in these characters and we see our rewards here we're getting some gold not a whole lot of gold um i think the gold barely covers the upgrade on black bolt but either way we get some mega orbs not that they're a big win you know unless you're still early in the game because a lot of times they end up being dupe characters i swear 50 percent of the time they end up dupe and Getting the character you actually want to drop at 100 shards is about as rare as pulling a 7 red star tune. Now I'm not going to bore you guys with going through the tier 5, so I will be back. Alright, and with that, Black Bolt did not survive, but do I still get... It doesn't matter if I get 3 stars or not, this challenge just don't work like the rest of them. So, that is a clear. That is my 5 star Black Bolt. Alright, and I got everything I needed for my 5 star Black Bolt. So here we go. Unlocked. And we'll continue there. And okay, so this is how it's going to go, guys. This video is not ending right here because one, I'm throwing in a viewer asked question that I've never been able to show off before. And I'm going to show off here to add to this video so you guys have a better understanding how I do this. So the viewer question that I got was, how do I manage leveling up characters? And I'm gonna explain that here in a second, but I have to do it, for you guys it's the same video, but for me it's the next day, cause it's a certain way it works out and I can't really explain it right now. All I can do is show you, so I'll be right back in a bit for you guys to understand how I level up a character every day managing the high roller milestone. All right guys, so I'm back the next day to go over a viewer question of how I level up a tune, a team, like how do I manage it? And that's pretty much what this video is going to address. But before I address this, there is something that I brought up in previous videos that I recently got an answer to. And it's sort of an answer to. One, being able to track the superior and many uniques that you have in your inventory. Someone in my comments mentioned about going to Dark Dimension 3 and checking there. But if you go here, you can see it only shows four superior uniques. It doesn't show any others. It does show some mini uniques down here, but I don't even know if that's the complete list. And I don't think it, eh, maybe it is. I think it is the complete list. But anyways, so you got your complete list of mini uniques. But there is another place where you can check your inventory. All right, so if you go to the war store and click on orbs and go all the way down here to your orange and hit the eye and then center pillar it will give you all the superior uniques in the game and if you just click on them boom it tells you how much is in your inventory so that is one place where you can always check on your inventory or superior unique so if you want to keep an inventory list there you go and if you need your mini uniques just go here the gear drop and the mini uniques are in here also you can keep track how many of those you have but with that said 
Okay, how do I level up a character or a team? So the first thing I do is I wait for my supply store to refresh in the afternoon. This is the last time my supply store will update before the high roller milestone resets. So I know this is the time to go shopping. If there's anything I want, I've already looked through the store. I'm not gonna buy anything other than this little mini unique here. And there we go. And then, so we'll back up from here and go into the high roller milestone. All right, so now I need to pick a target. Am I gonna just gonna complete? Obviously with Symbiote Spider-Man being the milestone character, I'm always gonna end on a milestone that has him in it. You can see I spent quite a bit of money on gear this morning. And not only that, you guys are watching the video, you saw me unlock Black Bolt, so that costs money also. So that's where some of this money where I'm at is going to, but, so I need to pick a target. So I'm gonna pick for this video in particular, and I know this is gonna be, this is gonna be me spending more money than what I bring in in a day, but like I said, I know I spent extra on Black Bolt. I know I got a little bit extra gold from the Black Bolt event, so I'm not too worried about it. Usually. I will plan on stopping here most days. Sometimes I push a little further depending on what I'm working on, but for the sake of this video, this is where we're going. So you just need to factor out how much gold I can spend to hit this milestone without going way over. And you really wanna to try to get as close as you possibly can to not waste any money in this game or any resources you could have the potential of getting. So rough math, I'm gonna put myself at around 640,000 that I can spend and then I'll come and then, you know, we'll nickel and dime it to make sure we don't go too far over. So let's go into Black Bolt. First thing is I'm done. I'm done working on you for now because Black Bolt's now my target and he's all the way at the bottom. So let's put a heart on him so he goes all the way to the top. Where are you, Black Bolt? There you are, right beside Proxima Midnight. All right, I'm just gonna let this reset and go back to the top here. And there we go, Black Bolt. So first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add some training to him. And you're just gonna let the levels go up and watch the amount in the apply. Remember, about 640. Now we need to save some for some gear, so we're only gonna go so far. And I'm just gonna stop and let gear do some of the work. All right, I think that's good right there at 42. Hit apply. And now that we're gonna spend some in gear, we're gonna spend some in his abilities. And this, and this philosophy applies to a team too. If you're investing an entire team, same thing. You just wanna make sure that you're spreading out the money between all the characters per day. If you go crazy and spend more than the, the max, which is like over a little bit over 2 million, you're wasting resources, in my opinion. You're just wasting what the potential you can earn with your money. And here we go. And if you're one of those people like, hey, I got hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of orange gear, so I don't really need orange gear, trust me, there's more tiers in this game coming out sometime in the future. So if you think you don't need it now, you may need it in the future. So don't ever underestimate those resources. I think OMG is the one who put it out there where he used to say I had plenty of the, um, the uh, superior catalyst. And now he'll tell you today that he's running out of them and he needs them. So, like I said, it's... Things change quickly. Um, all right, so they get the little high roller down here too, so I kind of have an idea of where I'm at. I'm still not close to that money, so that's another thing to pay attention to as you're going. All right, before I keep quit more, let's upgrade his abilities. They do cost money. Still not over a million yet. Still not over a million. Uh, hit the wrong category. And these don't really cost that much. I mean, they do start scaling up in price as you go. All right, so that's about as far as we're gonna get. I did not pay attention to see if it was over a million, but I, if I did, I know I'm not over by much. Let's do this. All right, so we have about 200,000 left to go. This will keep me under. Okay, now we're getting closer. We're still less, we're still a little bit over 100,000 left to go. And you can see this is where I kind of maxed out. So let's figure out how much we are left to go officially. 
Let's see, milestone, high roller, claim the ones I've gotten so far. And all right, so we got roughly 135, 134. All right, 134. Go back here, black belt. This is the main reason why I'm moving them to the top here, so I could easily go back and forth if I needed to. So one level, not there. Another level, 190. We're getting there. So if I go to 47, it is too much. So we're just gonna go to 46 and stop. And you see, we're about 9,000 away. It is under 9,000. No, I mean I could just spend the 10 and be done. Yeah, I could spend the 10 and be done. But mostly what I'm going to do here is I'm going to hit the train button and I'm just going to tap this here. I've got to give my number again, 41. So I have about 8,000. We can go to 8,000. So train. And this is what basically I do. Like I said, try not to waste my resources. All right. That's about as close as I'm going to get. There we go. There's the milestone. And I shouldn't be too far over if I am. If, I know I'm over, but oh, I'm actually only 80 points over the target. 80 points. And that's how, guys, that's how I manage my resources and leveling up characters. I plan my money down to the T. My upgrades are based on how much money I'm willing to spend per day. And that's how I do it, guys. So if there's any questions, you can leave them down in the comments down below. But with that said, if you're new here or if you have not done so yet, hit that subscribe button. Hit that thumbs up if you like these series. And I'll catch you guys on the next one.